Hey guys, Charlene Sean here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please take the time to hit the subscribe button down below. And if you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate it. Also, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should be. That's at Charlene Sean, just like here. Um, I post on my Instagram stories daily and I post tips and things that sold and I ramble and crack jokes and stuff like that. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'll be there. Maybe you'll see me. Uh, but as you can see by the title, which I have no idea which it, what it is because I haven't thought that far yet, I have three boxes here to unbox. I have a box from two resellers and a box from my company. I'm going to start with the box from the company first, and it is Pinch Me, if you guys can see that. They sent me this box to kind of tell you guys about their website um to open up the box on camera all that jazz um the things youtubers do but i thought it would be really cool to do the company i've heard of before if you're on youtube i feel like mm, well maybe if you're on youtube and not just like the reseller world you've probably heard of pinch me their website's pinchme.com i'm opening up this now and you can sign up through Facebook even, I believe. You just type in your information. You don't need a credit card, anything like that. And they send you free samples in the mail to review. That's pretty much their company. <laughs> they are like the middleman to get the samples to your doorstep. You can review. I was on their website and looking at past samples they, they've sent out because I have no idea what's in here. They've sent out like Hidden Valley Ranch before body wash facial mist all different things like that and these are companies that work through them to get these samples to your doorstep so you can review them um cool little service free to sign up no credit card required and yeah we're gonna open this box from them i have no idea what's in here and i think that this video is going to be full of surprises we will see so this is the box it's really cute it has all of these cute little graphics on the front and it says pinch me try products from leading brands for free pinchme.com it has all their socials and all of that uh everything that has to do with anything in this video is going to be linked down below so any links all of that so here is the box. There's a lot of stuff in here. Oh my goodness. So it says, welcome. We're so thrilled for you to join our exclusive Pinch Me Influ Influencer Club. As a founding member, you'll be one of the first to get access to exclusive free products, promotions, events, and much more. That is so sweet. Oh my goodness. Oh, so on the back it says how Pinch Me works. Go to www.pinchme.com to sign up. Once a month we'll email you when free samples are available for you to claim. Provide your honest feedback on the samples to claim more. So, pretty simple process. Here goes the box. We're going to go through what I got. I'm really excited. So, the first thing I got is, Devin's going to love this, 1850 Folger Coffee Black Gold Fire Roasted Dark Roast Coffee. So Devin is a big coffee drinker. This will go to him. Oh, me and Devin are going to have so much fun with this box. This is the Bior Free Your Pores Charcoal Great for Oily Skin Micellar Water. I love micellar water if you don't know what it is. If you wear makeup, mascara, eyeliner, anything like that, micellar water, you put it on a cotton round and... Your makeup comes right off. I like it because it's not like a thick cream. It's not, um, you, like, you don't have to mix it with anything. You put, you put on a cotton round, take off your makeup. It's really quick and easy. And I'm almost out of my micellar water. So I am excited to try this. This is also by, I think it's Biore. They sell, like, the charcoal nose strips. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, I love this brand. And I've actually tried this before in a different box, not from them, from a different company. It's Eva NYC Main Magic 10-in-1 Primer with Argan Oil and Sunflower Seed Oil. I love this. I used my other one all up. So there goes that. I've tried these before. I'm not a big fan. Devin ate the whole pack. My sister ate some. I'm just... It wasn't my favorite. They are the Sweet Heat Skittles. If you try them, they are definitely like a world one of flavor. When you bite into the Skittle, it's initially that sweet 
you, that sweet taste and then it gets real spicy and I'm not here for that so I don't like these <laughs> this is another item this is Compede protects and cushions blisters stays in place provides optimum cushioning from rubbing and pleasure pleasure pressure uh, so it fits like a second skin it's just a patch you put if you have like I used to get these when I wear when I wore flats so it's for pretty much you to put on your your foot right there I also got oh I've used this brand too before I've gotten them in an ipsy uh, Moroccan oil treatment for all hair types I love free hair products because they're so expensive I also got a little Ricola Herbal Immunity Honey Mint. I got Native Deodorant. Oh, I'm so excited for this. I'm going to do more research on this, but I'm hoping that it's like one of those all natural type of deodorants. Um, if you guys can see that, there it goes. Native Deodorant. Uh, because... Oh, it smells so... Oh my goodness, this smells so good. It has shea butter in it, coconut oil. It smells like coconut. This smells so good. I'm excited to use this, and I'm excited to see if it actually works, because we got a deodorant at Posh Fest, and I'm not a fan of that anymore. And then the last thing I got is this big old bag of quinoa and brown rice. I've never had quinoa before with garlic this is interesting you cook it in a skillet we're having shrimp tonight but i don't think you eat quinoa brown rice and shrimp together but it's this pack and they also gave me some coupons so thank you so much pinch me for emailing me and even extending me this offer i hope some of you guys signed up um it's a really really quick sign up process especially if you have facebook and like i said they will send you samples once a month in a box uh, I'm pretty sure the samples are limited, so <laughs> keep up to date with your email if you do sign up. Um, I think it's just a cool little program. Who doesn't like free stuff? So that is the first box I have, and then we can go ahead and get into the second one. So this next box I have is from Jen and Taylor at Resell Threads. They are a mother-daughter duo, and in Taylor's closet, which is T-Spar 96, I'll have everything down below. They sell mystery boxes. They are 8 for 35 They sent me one to open. Um, this isn't a review or anything like that. They sent me free inventory, and that's pretty much what it is. <laughs> Don't take this as a review or anything like that, because I'm just opening up boxes on camera that I got for free. That's what this video is. Uh, but like I said, the links will be down below. If you like what you see in this box, if you're interested in, you know, maybe buying a box for yourself, 8 for 35, you get to see kind of what the value... I, I, I slit this with the scissors, but I haven't looked inside. I kept stumbling over words, and if you have a YouTube channel, you know you cut a lot of stuff out. So, <laughs> but... Um, if you like what you see, you're welcome to go to their page and buy a mystery box, anything like that. You know, this is not going to be a review. I'm literally just opening the box, so. <sighs> Disclaimers will be down below for the FTC and for you guys. And links will be down below. So here we go. Here is the box. I am opening it. Uh, let's see. I'm not going to... Oh, it is wrapped. Oh, and there's a letter. Okay. I'm going to read this. I don't know if I'm going to read it out loud. It just depends on what it says. Oh, so it's just a sweet little note, like, saying thank you for the opportunity. And you guys are nice. You, you didn't have to do all of that. Oh, and then they also have their little business card. So their eBay is Resell Threads. Um, Jen's Poshmark is J W E B B Paw, and then Taylor's Poshmark is T Spar ninety six, and then their Instagram is Resell Threads. So everything's gonna be down below. Let me open up this box. Oh wow! Okay, so I see a Vineyard Vines tag already, um, but this is not that Vineyard Vines tag. This is a different item, and this is Cynthia Rowley. I love dresses, and this is a size medium. Here goes the tag. They sell this brand at Kohl's. Uh, some of her high-end stuff, like the designer stuff that she still does, is sometimes sold at Anthropology, um, and then I think even Macy's and stuff like that. But this is a really cute fit and flare dress. It's a blue dress, and it has this uh, 
stripe at the bottom. Mm. There's a spot on this dress. That's not the best. Uh, yeah, there's a little spot on the dress on this back stripe. I have no doubt that that'll come out, though, in the washer, but there is a spot on it. Other than that, though, eh. Oh, no, that's not a spot. Okay, so there's just that one spot on the stripe. So this is going to go in the washer, but this will get listed for $25. It'll probably sell anywhere from, like, $15 to $20, I would imagine. Might even sell in my 3 for 30 I'm sorry, that's not like the best note to open up the box in, but like I said, I'm just here to open the box. The next item, this one's flawless. Look at her. She's a Vineyard Vines top, and it is a size small. And this is just, I don't, is this like a, what do they call it, like a crosshatch weave or something like that? I, I, it's probably linen. It feels like it's linen. So it's 55% linen, 45% cotton. I knew it. You can tell this is linen. Um, but it's a really nice, like, raspberry, fuchsia pink type of uh, button down, long sleeve. That'll get listed at probably 30 bucks. The next item is a pair of J. Jill pants. I like selling J. Jill, and J. Jill actually sells pretty good for me on Poshmark. I know that there's a bigger market on it for eBay, but I've sold multiple items on Poshmark by J. Jill. And they are size 18, so they are plus size, and I might keep them. No, I don't need more green pants. Do I need more green pants? I don't need more green pants, but... Here goes the tag. They are size 18 1X. And they are really nice. These are really nice pants. I don't need more green pants. Do I? No, I really don't. I have like two, three pairs. Um, yeah, no flaws at all. But these are some really nice pants. I will honestly probably list these at like 35 uh, because they are a 1X. They are a good trendy color. They're in great condition. Uh, the next item is Free People Beach, size is small. I've sold this label once before, they're a beach line, and it's like this semi-sheer top, and it's this light pink color. This isn't pink. Uh, it's more like a peach, like a pinky peach color, and it has this cuff sleeve. This is a really unique top. It feels super comfortable. If you guys can see like the the pattern on there this will probably get listed it's a size small it'll probably get listed at 28 bucks i would say the next item is holly hawk by lucky brand i like selling lucky brand it'll get listed at 25 bucks and it is this cute little floral motif black crushed velvet short sleeve scoop neck top okay keywords um I'll probably title this Lucky Brand Floral Print Crushed Velvet Top. Yeah. It's super soft, though, and I like that it's velvet. It adds such, like, a interesting, unique touch to it, especially since even though this is, like, a floral print, it's a very simple, calm down, like, chill floral print. I really like this, though. I really like that shirt. I like how it feels. Like, that is a nice crushed velvet so a pair of lululemon leggings i have a pair of these right now that i have not listed uh because they're super staticky and i don't know if it's like lululemon or what but they are so staticky these ones are not staticky like how mine are yeah these aren't staticky like that but these are lululemon black leggings they have this like crossover top at the crossover detail at the top um, the tag is gone, but that is very common with Lululemon. And the size on the pants, I think it's in the back pocket for Lululemon. Yeah, I'll find it at a later date. I don't want this video to be too long. But some black Lululemon capris, that is a for sure sale. And I will actually list those because they're not in bad condition like the ones that I bought from Shop Goodwill. The next item is this, this is probably J. Crew. I'm assuming it's J. Crew. It's like a pink ruffle top. 
Oh, nope, it's Zara. So this is Zara. I love selling Zara. <laughs> and it is an extra small, great sized bundle. I sell lots of small and extra small bundles. And it is this. This is such a cute shirt. It's this mustard yellow polka dot print top. It's a really nice, um, I don't know if I would call this chiffon. No, I wouldn't necessarily call this chiffon. But it is semi-sheer. Really cute top. And then I have one item left. Oh, they're new at tags. New at tag Marc Jacobs jeans. What the fuck? They are wide leg, but I don't even care. They're new at tag Marc Jacobs. Um, they're size 26. Here goes that. Here goes the tag. I'm hoping I can find like a stock photo or something like that because it does have a style number. And it has this really cute leather patch on the back. That is so cute. They're size 26 though. And they are like a wide leg, like a flared jean. Um, but they're pretty wide all the way down. I don't know. I hope I can find a stock photo. I'm not... Y'all know me. I like dresses. I like blazers. I like skirts. I'm not a big fan of jeans and like pants and capris and any of that mainly because I don't wear them and I don't have like a good flat lace system, but I should be able to find a stock photo for these. These are actually like, I don't like calling anything I sell ugly. I don't ever really say ugly. I just say it's not my style. But I actually think that these are cute and I'm really surprised because I'm not a fan of like wide leg bootleg stuff. But there's something about these. I think it's because they're high waisted. And I just picture like a super, a super cool girl in them. You, you guys know the cool girls, right? Like the, you guys know. Um, these are really cute though. I really like these. They're high waisted. The rise is really... Look at that rise on those. But that's because they're high-waisted. These are sickening. Look at these. I really love these. And I like the wash of them because it's that, like, vintage, almost mom jean type of wash. They're not super light, but I think it has the wash on here. It says bright blue. So, bright blue. Um, but, yeah, I really like these. These... This is probably my favorite item. <laughs> so I got, we'll just do a recap. I got these new tags, Marc Jacobs, like flared leg. I don't know. These are sickening. I like these. Um, this Zara mustard yellow top. Black Lululemon Capris. Velvet Lucky Brand shirt. Free People Beat shirt. J. Jill plus size pants. Vineyard Vines Linen Blend Button Down. And then the Cynthia Rowley dress, which has a minor flaw. We're going to throw her in the washer. It should come right out. I don't I don't see that being a spot that's not going to come out. Um, and yeah, so they sell these boxes. They're on Taylor's Instagram. Everything will be, not Instagram, Poshmark. Everything will be linked down below. Um, but they sell these boxes. They are eight items for 35 bucks. So it ends up probably being about $42 with shipping. And, yeah, if you're interested in one of their boxes, it'll be linked down below. Like I said, for the 15,000th time, thank you so much, uh, Jen and Taylor, for sending me this box. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm just really grateful. Like, thank you so much for sending me free inventory. Like, you guys could have listed this yourself and made money. Um, and, of course, people... Somebody's going to be like, well, they sent you inventory so you could show it. But... Still, I mean, somebody had to take time to source this inventory and to send it to me and to pay for the shipping and to pay for the inventory. And then at the end of the day, when you send somebody something, you really don't know how that's going to pan out. Like, you don't know if, you know, what the result of that is going to be. So just the fact that anybody wanted to even take a chance on me and send me this means a lot. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. So they sent me this box I'm super appreciative and I got some really good stuff in it like I have no doubt in my mind that I couldn't see a reason why any of this wouldn't sell you know um but yeah I'm excited <laughs> I'm excited especially for those Marc Jacobs fans 
So the last box I have here is from Latisse, Financially Fit Millennial, my good sis, uh, my multiple income stream queen. And she sent me this box because she wanted to. That's it. I'll put her, her socials down below. Uh, she's Financially Fit Millennial on YouTube and on Instagram. And she is FF Millennial. I had to write everything down. My brain can only hold so, so much. She's FF Millennial on Poshmark. So if you need more people of color to follow, more black women to follow, um, definitely give her a follow. She's really sweet, really kind, really helpful. And I am super appreciative of her for sending me this box. I hope that I can get to a point to where I can send people free boxes of inventory as a gesture of like, thank you for, for what you do and who you are and for being a part of the community um, and to uplift other black women. So yeah, I'm really excited about this box. Thank you so much, Latisse, for sending this to me. And it's a pretty big one. Uh, Devin said the box looked bloated because she's poking out a little bit on this side. <laughs> but that's okay. We're going to make it do it, what it do. And we're going to open up this box. I love this purple. It's, it says eBay all over it. This purple eBay tape. Let me open this box so we can see what's in here. So this is the box. It is exploding. I'm very excited to go through this. Okay, so the first item that she sent me is by Torrid, and it's my size. Okay, you were looking out. This is really cute. Uh, I'm not going to keep this just because I know I'm not going to wear it. I know how I am. Very rarely do I leave this house, so I don't keep a lot of the things that I say I'm going to keep or that I'm going to wear. A lot of it gets listed but this is super cute torrid 1x my size and it is this purple like vest cardigan I guess um, I love torrid because they have style numbers on their tags and I know I can find a stock photo in a gif real quick in a hurry um, so yeah this style number is one zero three five six three seven zero so I'll be able to find a stock photo really quick this is so cute so the first item is a Torrid item. Are these Lularoe leggings? They're not. I thought these were Lularoe leggings. You guys see that print? I was going to be really excited. <laughs> uh, it is not Lularoe. What brand is this? Oh, Zara Basic. Look, more Zara. There goes that tag. This is a really cute print. And it is a size extra small. And it is a, is that the back? Yeah, that's the back. So, it has like a, a low scoop neck, I guess. Is this a scoop neck still? And it has these high slits. It's a really nice summer top. That's cute. I really like the print. The next item is by the North Face. My mom loves selling North Face. And it is a long sleeve top. And... Okay, it's just North Face. It's not like Climalite or anything, dry fit, nothing like that. It's just this long sleeve pink North Face top. Really cute. That'll get listed at 25 Thank you so much, Latisse, and everybody for sending me stuff. Like, I really appreciate it. Um, this is Everly. I've sold a couple of Everly pieces. It's a boutique brand. You'll find it at, like, TJ Maxx and Marshalls. And this is a semi-sheer floral dress. It's missing the belt, but I sell lots of dresses without belts. Really cute. Super light piece. That'll probably get listed at like 20. My camera overheated, so I'm sorry if there's like a weird cut. Uh, so I had to turn my cam- Well, I didn't even turn my camera off. She just kind of turned herself off. Um, she does that when I'm filming for a long time. I've been sitting here a while. <laughs> The, uh, I'm sorry if my energy also seems low. Like I said, I've been sitting here a while and I haven't ate in like five hours. So we're getting a little hungry. <laughs> this is the next item. This is a We The Free top. Cute red top. I love selling free people. I feel like even if it doesn't sell super fast, it always sells. Like there's always somebody looking for it. Um, and it is a cute, like, oh, look how cute this is. There's, like, a tie sleeve. 
Would this be considered a cold shoulder since there's still a sleeve right here? That's something I go back and forth with myself a lot about. Um, I'm showing you guys the back is the front. Uh, this is how the top goes. It's a really cute, like, tie sleeve top. Mm. Is this Athleta or is it Lululemon? A nice, good athletic stripe. I don't know what it's going to be. It is Lululemon. So, another Lululemon piece. I feel like their tank tops don't resell for as high as they used to. But I feel like you can still get like 25 bucks for one, so that's always great. This will probably get listed at 30 35 bucks. Um, I was looking up style names and using stock photos for Lululemon for a while, and then they took one of my stock photos down on Poshmark. So I'll probably look for the name, but I probably am not going to use a stock photo. This is a, Lulu, uh, a LuLaRoe Randy. I've sold, I believe, two of these before. And it's an extra small new with tags. It has this cute little, like, green, blue geometric design. Here goes the tag. Is this Lily Pulitzer? This has got to be Lily Pulitzer. No, it's London Times. So it's a, I thought it was Lily Pulitzer because of, like, this is kind of a funky flower. Um, but it's a London Times dress. It does have an empire waist if you guys can see where that seam is it just means the bust line is higher i've sold london times before they sell london times at like jc pennies um i usually get my london times at outlet sales and it's new at tags a size eight we got some argyle in the mix i've sold one argyle thing and it was a men's item so is this so this is a brooks brothers extra large and it is a purple argyle sweater. There we go. Long sleeved. The next item is Theory. Oh, I love. I love Theory. I really do. Um, Theory size large. And it's this like blue semi, well, blue and white semi sheer kind excuse me, I keep burping because I'm talking a lot, <laughs> kind of like a semi-sheer open knit like crochet top. This is really cute and I sold my last Theory sweater in like a week. Latisse, you hooked me up. Thank you girl. Uh, what is this next one? This is a green sweater by BCBG. It's a one size and it's 100% wool. Is there a sleeve? Is it like a cape? Oh, it's like a little cute cape sweater uh cape poncho something like that i don't know what i'm gonna use in the keyword it is one size but it's probably more of like a medium <laughs> but it has these large like faux wooden buttons and it goes all the way up but you can wear this down you know as like a large neck um I'm getting slap happy. <laughs> that is really cute though. I think it's like a cape or a poncho, something like that. This is J. Crew Factory, extra small, size two. Oh, this is really cute. I thought this was gonna be a dress. It is a circle mm, uh oval eyelet. I'll probably just put circle eyelet for the ease. Orange sleeveless top with a keyhole back. And it has this chiffon orange trim at the bottom. This is really cute. I love clothes though. And I love color. So the fact that that's bright ass orange, I'm living for it. There's a lot of stuff in this box. Sorry, my phone just went off. Uh, the next item is Parker. I've seen Parker once when I worked at Clothes Manor. And we had a Parker romper forever. It was on clearance for what seemed like years. We had so many clearance sales and nobody wanted it. And I wasn't allowed to buy things to flip. And I didn't know Parker was a good brand. Um, but this is Parker, size large. Even though Parker is a good brand, I have heard that their resale value is all over the place. So we'll see how this does. But it is a cute floor, not floral, um summer dress i guess geometric kind of like some aztec -y, like southwestern type of print but the colors are really nice we have three items left 
This is New Attacks Chico's size one, originally $39. And this is a great basic. It is a nude undershirt. Now that I'm on eBay, I am more apt to pick up Chico's and more apt to be excited about Chico's because I feel like it sells there quicker from what I've heard. So we'll see. Um, but it's like a nude cami, new with tags. Everybody needs an undershirt. This is fun. What is this? This is Sweet Pea by Stacy for Tea. Uh, originally $58. It was at Nordstrom Rack for $26.97. And it is like this racer back, if you guys can see that. Sleeveless. Uh... It's inside out, first of all. <laughs> I don't know if this is a tunic or mini dress. It's a large, so I would consider this a tunic. If you guys don't know, I learned this tip from Oscar Lady from Erin that the perfect length for, or mini dresses start at 33 inches. So that's pretty much how I figure out if things are mini dresses or tunics. Uh, you just got to measure from the shoulder to the bottom. When I first started measuring items, I had no idea. I used to measure from like right here down. I don't know what I was thinking. Measure from the top of the shoulder down, please. <laughs> don't be me. But this is a large tunic. I like the fact that it's lined. And I don't know if this is zebra print. I'll probably just put animal print. And it's new with tags. And then I have one item left. And this, oh, this is another theory item. And it's a one size fits all item. Maybe, I was thinking maybe it was maternity, but I just think it has because you know how maternity pants have like that elastic band. It has this elastic band at the top. This might be a dress. This might be a bubble dress. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look up the style name. I think she knows I like theory. But it's one size fits all. But this could be an extra small like bubble dress. I think that's what these are called when they're like this at the bottom. It does have pockets, but I'm also thinking it could be like a maternity skirt. But does Theory sell maternity? I have lots of questions. We'll see when I list this. I'm going to have to do research before I list it, so I know if I should like set it up as a dress or a skirt. We'll see. I mean, it could double as either. But this really cute Theory, whatever it is, skirt, dress, I don't know. This would be a cute dress for an extra small like this would cover your bust and then you would have this black part flare out and it has side seam pockets which is great that is a lot of stuff thank you so much so i have one two three four five six seven eight nine <laughs> ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen items from latiz Thank you so much for pretty much giving me like $150 minimum because that's what you just did. I am so thankful for anybody who messages me, takes a chance on me, sends me something. Like that means the world to me because you guys don't have to do that. Like nobody has to do that. And it just really makes me see the good in the world sometimes. And I cannot wait until I'm at a point financially to where I have enough debt down to where I can take money and buy inventory and send it to people. Like, that would be amazing just to be able to do that. And thank you so much, Latisse, for sending this box to me. I really appreciate it because this is, it's money. I mean, that's pretty much what you just did. <laughs> like, you just gave me a bunch of money. Thank you so much. And thank you so much to Jen and Taylor for sending me one of their mystery boxes. That means the world to me. Thank you so much for, you know, you could have picked anybody to send your box to and you wanted to send it to me. And the fact that you gave me, you know, inventory, like free money, like that, it means a lot to me. And thank you, Pinch Me, for reaching out to me as well. Because I have like free quinoa and hair supplies and new deodorant. <laughs> you know, things I don't have to spend my money on. Thank you so much. I hope this video wasn't too long. I hope you enjoyed it. I know that majority of my thrift hauls are live. So it's nice to do things like this. I mean, this technically is a thrift haul. It's just I didn't buy them. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm trying to keep pushing out content. So hopefully there will be a new video, more new videos this week. And yeah, I'm excited for all of this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And you can leave any comments, questions, su suggestions, concerns, anything like that down below. All applicable links 
um, FTC disclaimers, all of that shit's gonna be down below, and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.